what is life? Life is dying slow, day to day. Life is not a gift. Life is unacceptable. Life is cruel. Life is unjust. If there's one thing to say about mankind, there's nothing kind about man. You can chase out nature with a pitchfork, but it always comes roaring back again. For want of a bird, the sky was lost. For want of a nail, a shoe was lost. For want of a life, a knife got lost. For want of a toy, a child got lost. That encapsulates what life is for me. Life is the escaping of pain. Life is that which creates the values of deprivation and suffering in the universe. One of the clearest, most concise, and strongest arguments to be made in favor of the philosophy of antinatalism was made by the Buddha himself 2,500 years ago. He said, life is suffering. Buddha was a prince. His father was a king. He was surrounded by opulence. He had concubines. He had all the money, sex, and power that anybody of that time could wish to have. Yet he knew, or if he didn't know, he had strong suspicions that something was amiss. There was something not quite right with the world. His parents did everything within their power to make sure that he was shielded from the harsh realities outside the palace walls. He was allowed to experience and indulge in every pleasure. He was protected and shielded from every pain and inconvenience and annoyance. But nevertheless, he arranged things to go on a tour of the town to see what life was like for the average person. And when he was on that tour, he saw three things that caused an explosion in his consciousness that forever changed him, changed the way that he would look at life and set him on a new path. And those three things were first, he saw a sick man. Second, he saw an old man. And third, he saw a dead man. And that was enough. He didn't need to see any more. When he became enlightened, he said, life is suffering.